Hi everyone! Today is July 14th, 2021 and I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I have actually been pretty frustrated lately and the reason is because I cannot get the vaccine until September. My next Ogrevis infusion is in October and I have to wait a certain amount of time you know, before I get the vaccine so I have to wait until September and I, so I haven't been able to do things like to go out and um, I, I miss my cousin Diana's wedding. I felt so bad about that. I miss my cousin Jill's graduation party. I feel terrible, but I, I just can't be around, you know, a group of people and um, they're both indoors obviously. And um, so I, I just don't want to take the risk. Um, I have known people who have gotten COVID-19 and um, it's very easy for me to stay home and like stay away so that um, I'm not exposed to a lot of people because I really don't want to get the virus. I mean it's hard, it's really hard and I feel really bad about it, but it's it's not worth the risk. Um, and you know not being able to do what everybody else is doing that is kind of like the way I've been forced forced to live um, I am very used to being independent and and doing my own thing and not doing what everyone else is doing because I, I can't because I have limitations or you know for whatever reason um, I, I just do my own thing and I have become accustomed to being very okay with that I'm really independent and um, I'm really fun with it I mean it's not easy all the time but um, it's it's safe you know I'd rather stay on the safe side I, I was just feeling kind of down but something that made me feel really good was when I read an article in Inform MS from the Rocky Mountain Multiple Sclerosis Center and um, there was an article about the power of creativity, a coping and resilience tool. And it talks about how resilience can be understood as a process of adapting well in the face of adversity. Or, so, you know, <laughs> resilience is, you know, it really applies to all the people with MS because we have learned how to adapt well while living with MS because we don't really have a choice. And Many research studies about resiliency point out that creativity is a key characteristic, behavior or disposition that helps individuals create resilience. Creativity can help us deal with stress, adapt and innovate solutions to help address problems or limitations so you can enjoy your life. Okay, so I can't really go out with my friends and family yet to indoor events, but I can be really creative. So I love reading and writing, which I'm sure you guys know I've talked about. I also love scrapbooking and I love arts and crafts. I always have since I was a little girl. but. There's one thing that I've really wanted to do, and that is I've always wanted to learn how to cook an authentic bolognese pasta sauce. I, I've always wanted it. You know, one of those sauces where it, it cooks like all day long, and it simmers and whatever, and so like all day you can just walk over and take like a little, a little taste of it. I've always wanted to learn how to do it. So, since I'm home and I have the time, I I decided to try. It's creative, I think. So I went to the store, I bought all the ingredients, and I was so excited to start making the sauce. 
and I know it sounds super dorky, but I couldn't sleep the night before. <laughs> I was so excited to get started. And so I had like really positive feelings, really good vibes going on. And um, I, I was really curious to see how it turned out. I, I couldn't wait. The best part is that it turned out to be really delicious. It was so good and my, my family loved it. We ate it like for a few days. It was so good. So with all of the, the pressures and challenges that we face while living with multiple sclerosis, it's important, it's really important that we all engage in activities that you really enjoy because it just makes life more tolerable, <laughs> tolerable, manageable. It, it makes life happier if you're doing something that you love. You, if you're creative and you're doing something that you love, it makes life better. So I told you guys about the creative things that I like doing. I want to know what you like doing. I want to know what you do, creative things that you do to make your lives better while living with MS. I'm curious. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.